Police confirmed that the two armed men who attacked a school in Suzano in the state of Sao Paulo were former students of the school. There is no indication yet, though, about the motivation of the attack. According to the police, the two men, one 17 and the other 25 uh, years old, were carrying uh, one pistol, just one pistol among the two of them, but also a crossbow, bow and arrow, and also uh, bottles of cocktail Molotov, this latest that have not been used in the end. They killed people in the school and also one person before they got to the school, according to the police, it would be the uncle of one of the attackers. The two attackers also died. Information so far is that they would have killed themselves. Brazilian authorities flocked to the school, the governor of Sao Paulo, also uh, the minister of education. There's been talk and demands for increased security in schools, but no concrete measures were announced as yet. Brazil is also now in a debate about gun ownership. Just recently, President elected the new president, Jair Bolsonaro, issued a decree facilitating gun ownership, and this subject also came up after this attack in the school. We see on social networks and interviews people saying that uh, this is another evidence that getting more weapons to circulate in Brazilian society is a bad idea, but there is also a counter-argument appearing. For example, Senator Major Olimpo, a close ally of Bolsonaro and also an advocate of more uh, of free gun ownership, said that if there were uh, people there, teachers or a retired police officer in the area that had a gun, uh, that, that had a gun possibly this tragedy could have been either avoided or at least mitigated. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.